Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel, Bitcoin 44K. <laughs> what a beautiful morning. Bitcoin waking up to 44K, beautiful green candles. Is this the top or not? That's what we're going to answer in this video. Of course, also talking about three Four, four other beautiful Bitcoin charts. Yes, giving you a trading tip. Yes, giving you a beautiful travel tip, a special one for the ladies out there. Of course, talking about some news and some life advice. Let's quickly jump into the charts because I know you want to see the charts. And yes, the charts will be done from behind my laptop so I can show a little bit better how the charts work and then I'm going to be back on the beach. That's magic, the magic of movies. Let's quickly jump into those charts. Bam. The first chart, guys, of today is this chart, the four hour chart. Congratulations to everyone. 44K Bitcoin, what a beautiful day. Uh, we can see, of course, that a beautiful signal, the buy signals. You had three chances to buy that uh, one with the, uh, the Bitcoin family indicator setup. Uh, we are running against resistance. We can see the volume on the right side. That's a huge area of resistance, guys. We also see on the left the blue blocks. Yes, this is resistance. So 44K could be a small top like a local top, but we can take it all the way to 48K because that's like the biggest part of resistance. But this also will take probably a couple of days to break. And if you break it like today, yeah, then Bitcoin is really bullish, bullish, bullish. Let's zoom out to show you this. Like if you look to the weekly chart, this is the weekly chart. Uh, on this weekly chart, you can see that white line that I drew over there. That white line, that is that resistance line that I'm talking about. And if you look to the left, you understand why it is resistance. Look. Here, we went to it, we couldn't break it. Then we broke it, it became support. Here again, it became support. Here again, it was resistance and support. Here again, support. And again here, resistance, very much resistance. So this area is a very important area if you look into the past of Bitcoin. And to make it a little bit more clear without all these numbers on it, let's see if I have this chart over here. Yes, oh, the thing that I want to show you also is look at the RSI here in the bottom, guys. The RSI is really high at the moment and yes we can stay this high for a very long time we, we stayed like almost like uh, here if you look here from october 2020 all the way to april 2021 we stayed above that level of the rsi so that could happen now again now and the y line if you look here you can see it a little bit better you can see how big that area is it's a very big area uh, that we are seeing as a resistance area and you can see exactly on the chart here why that is because there's a lot of candles here hitting this area so we need to break this area that area is all the way up to 48k to go into the huge next five phase of the bull run but even if we hit that 48k yeah it could be a beautiful moment to take some short-term profits before we have this small pullback now let's jump and small i'm talking about maybe 20 percent or something now let's jump into um, another part of beautiful charts and that are these charts over here. This is the first one. Um, this one is showing you why people are also expecting that pullback. Every time when the price uh, reaches these levels there of 0 0.618, it falls back to the opposite level of 0 0.618. So every time, you can read it here in the box. I found this one on Twitter. I found it really interesting. When we had that run to 0 0.618, bam, that first pullback to 0 0.618 here. 0 0.618, bam, pullback, 50%, 40%, 50%. Is this again going to happen? Is it again when we hit that Fibonacci level of 0 0.618 going to see a retrace to that opposite level of 0 0.618? That is what the people are expecting. That's why they expect that crash from, for example, 48K-ish to um, 35K-ish back again. Interesting chart. Then we have this one. This one is saying, oh no, wait, but the bull market is completely confirmed, Didi. And I agree with this chart, the bull market is confirmed. And you can see it very beautiful how it's indicating that over here. Here, we can see that the purple line peaks above that white line, that horizontal white line. That's the bull market confirmed. Here, first time I did this, again, that was the bull market confirmed. Here, the first time I did it in 2020, uh, the bull market was confirmed. And now, what we see, it's peaking above that white line. And that white line in the RSI is a line that we don't peak often above. But every time when we peak above that white line, the bull market is confirmed. It's very beautiful to see on this chart. So, 
Is there going to be a pullback? Can be, but maybe we will continue way more higher, like we can see over these levels, and then have the pullback. We have seen that before, that, we are, are, that RSI goes higher than 80, and then we see this pullback. Very interesting chart. Now, also interesting is uh, a lot of people are asking, and the altcoins? The altcoins have exactly the same issue at the moment. The altcoins, they need to break that level of resistance. We can see on the left side the Bitcoin resistance levels. Over here, you can see we broke that huge area of resistance here because there was a lot of candles, you see, hitting that level and finding support and being resistance. Here we broke it with Bitcoin. Altcoins, so this is a total market cap without Bitcoin, so that's all the altcoins. We are now fighting that level. And if we will break that level, yes, we can see that small pump in altcoins as well that we now saw here in Bitcoin. So yeah, it would be a very beautiful moment at the moment to start to accumulate a little bit more of these altcoins because they still need to do what Bitcoin already did. And when Bitcoin will consolidate over here sideways, then believe me, these altcoins will go and do that and outperform Bitcoin in that short term period. Also here, the zero line of the MACD that was reclaimed by Bitcoin here. Now, we start to reclaim that zero line with the altcoins. And so very interesting move could be to take some profits in Bitcoin between 44 and 48K, and then uh, buy some altcoins with that to ride that beautiful altcoin pump. This is only for people that really want to risk a little bit. Normal people would be like dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. So normal people just buy Bitcoin every day. Uh, this is just for the People like me that sometimes want to play a bit, a bit like 5% of their portfolio and uh, make some more profits because when you take the profits in these altcoins, you buy Bitcoin, of course, again. Now, that were the charts for today. And yes, back on the beach again. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yes, do understand. It's all about to be or not to be. If you don't want to be, then don't follow Didi. If you want to be, then follow me. <laughs> That's how simple it is. Yes, I'm very happy today. Bitcoin is 44K. You know, it also takes away a lot of the pressure of my shoulders. It's not only about trading short term and making some profits. It's also about that I'm telling people worldwide, hey, you should sell your house, sell your cars, sell everything else, go all into Bitcoin when the bear market bottom is there and then run that bull market so you make a shitload of profit and then again exit that bull market into stable coins and do the same game again, again, again. So if you're like preaching this every time again and again and again, it's also beautiful to see the result of really playing out. Check my brother. I told him to sell his house. He sold his house. He took his complete overvalue, which was a few hundred K. He started a dollar cost average into Bitcoin around the bear market bottom. In total, he paid, I think, an average 19,200 US dollar per Bitcoin. He is now in a shit load of profit. He just texted me this morning. He's like, this is fucking insane. I've been traveling now around the world for almost one half year, Didi, since I went all in, enjoying the time with my daughter, and my capital only grew. That is Bitcoin. It's the hedge against inflation. Because the life is becoming more expensive, you need to have your assets in an asset that is against inflation, deflationary, that is making your money more valuable, that you can have more money to spend on those more expensive products. Very simple calculation. And sometimes I'm watching at the screen while I should watch at this camera, but that were the charts, let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip today, guys, again, a beautiful candlestick pattern. This one is the three falling method. The three falling method, you see a huge red candle, then you can see three consecutive green candles, and then again a red candle. But if those three green candles are inside that body of that red candle, that big red candle, that's a three falling method, guys. And that's a continuation of the bearish move. The opposite is a bullish move. If you have this huge green candle and then three bearish red candles, but they stay inside of that huge green candle, that is of course the opposite. We are gonna continue the bull run up. So the falling three method, guys, is when we go downwards and we continue downwards. And the rising three method, guys, is when we go up three red candles and we continue upwards. So every time when those three red or three green candles stay inside of the body of the previous green or red candle, then we will see a beautiful continuation of the market. That's a trading tip today. So uh, my advice for the day is go and check the charts, find the three falling methods or the three rising method, and let me know if you found them and if they then led indeed to a continuation of the move. Now, 
let's jump into the travel tip. Before I go into the travel tip, guys, check how beautiful here in Phuket. I can turn the camera now. One, two, three, bam. It turns around. You can even horse ride in the sea. You know, they are riding the horse deep into the sea. How cool is that? That's a beautiful Instagram picture, I think. Beautiful. But as I promised, I would come back with a beautiful uh, travel tip for the ladies. Because I have like three ladies and a wife, and I know they always were like having issues with their necklaces. Because if you like bring five or six or seven or eight or 10 of these beautiful like tiny silver or like just fake necklaces, they always tangle up. They always tangle up. They always need to take time to untangle these necklaces every time again and again. So the solution for this is very simple. The solution is you take straws and every necklace you put through a straw. If you have this huge golden necklace, okay, that won't fit in a straw. But the normal tiny necklaces, the ones that always tangle up, because the huge ones don't tangle up, but the tiny ones, put them in a straw one by one, and then they won't tangle up anymore. And maybe you need to use a couple of straws, but those straws are mostly like very cheap. So you take a straw, you put the necklace through, you close the necklace, and then you have a beautiful necklace that won't be tangling up. Beautiful travel tip for the ladies out there. And yes, it will save you a shitload of time of untangling necklaces where you could be enjoying the beautiful water on a horse, for example. Now, let's jump into the next part. And I will turn around for the next part, guys, because the sun is really shining into the screen. I think it's a more beautiful image like this. Uh, but the next part, of course, is the news. And the news is Bitcoin 44K. <laughs> there is no other special news. That's the biggest news of the day. Bitcoin 44K. I can talk about the SEC. I can talk about everything else. But there is no bigger news than Bitcoin 44K. So the news for today is Bitcoin 44K. And my answer to the question that everyone is asking, is this the top? This could be like a short term local top, but the real local top should be around the 48K. So if we break this huge resistance of 44K, because it's a big resistance, look to the left on the charts and you can see that that was in 2020, 21, a huge area of resistance and support. So if we break that, then I believe that we could go all the way up to 48K before we see a pullback. And mostly the pullback happens in January. So the news for the day is Didi has a glass ball. He's predicting the future. <laughs> Bitcoin will probably dip in January, but then again, bounce up all the way to April 2024, where the halving will be, and we will still be between 40 and 50K, I believe, during the halving. And from that moment, guys, yes, Bitcoin is again going to go sky high. The news for today, I have a glass ball. I can predict the future. It's all about to be or not to be. And that means, and for the one that think, always thinks, what does it mean to be or not to be? It is very simple. To be or not to be means, are you treating Bitcoin as your main capital? Or are you still believing in those huge shit coins on your bank account, Euro, dollar, or any other fiat currency? That's what the t-shirt means, to be or not to be. Either you are a Bitcoiner, you're all in Bitcoin, you treat Bitcoin as your core capital, and sometimes you use some Bitcoins to exchange that to fiat currencies because you need it in certain countries but your core main capital stays Bitcoin. Then you are to be, and not to be means you're treating Bitcoin as just an investment vehicle to make a little bit profits now and then and to turn back those Bitcoins to those shit coins, Euro and dollar or any other fiat currency. So that's what the t-shirt means, to be or not to be. And yes, this t-shirt is available in our shop. We sell these t-shirts for a very tiny price and 25% of the profits goes to beautiful charities, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into the next part, the question of a follower. And for today, guys, the question of a follower, there was not a real question yesterday again. Guys, you need to start to ask questions down below the videos because I can't answer it. But there is one question that keeps coming back every time and every time of a lot of people in direct messages. And that question is, Didi, what is the end game for the Bitcoin family? What is your end game? Are you going to like exit somewhere in the future? When do you think you took enough profits? When do you exit Bitcoin? When do you go back into the banking system? When do you stop traveling and, and buy a house again? All those questions lead to that ultimate question, Didi, what is the end game? And my honest answer about that is, I don't know. We don't have an end game. We never thought about an end game. 
we always thought Bitcoin would become a legal asset worldwide that we could use to spend a real peer-to-peer -peer cash. So we really believe that it would become that peer-to-peer -peer cash. So why would we need to exit into any other fiat currency? Because we can use Bitcoin as a peer-to-peer -peer cash. Until now, that dream has come true because we have been using Bitcoin all over the world in every country as a peer-to-peer -peer cash. We pay our travels, we pay our houses, we pay our groceries even sometimes with Bitcoin. And then we have the step in between, all these debit cards. For example, the Bybit debit card that we have been using lately. Perfect debit card. We can stay all in Bitcoin or Ethereum or any other stable coin or any other cryptocurrency and use that debit card to pay for the groceries worldwide. And the moment I pay with the debit card, at that moment, my Bitcoins or any other currency will be exchanged into the local fiat currency. So there's also no need anymore to sell my Bitcoins because I can really spend them every day in multiple ways, directly, peer to peer, but also through these debit cards. So there is no reason anymore. So all the things that we dreamt of are now like happening. Bitcoin is even a legal tender in certain countries. And probably Argentina, Brazil, and maybe even more European countries will follow. So the end game is we don't have end game. Bitcoin is the end game. Bitcoin is going to be the new worldwide accepted currency that we will be able to use. And because we got in early, yes, it increased our capital tremendously. But the end game is not exchanging back our Bitcoins to fiat because that's not necessary anymore. When you ask me what is the end game for our lifestyle, I also don't know. At the moment, we are completely enjoying it. We are slow traveling, as you have noticed in the last two years. So we stay like a couple of months in Portugal, a couple of months in Mexico, a couple of months in Thailand. And now that the world is open, maybe we will move to other country for a couple of months. But if the end game is just continue this travel lifestyle, or if the end game is that one of my daughters falls in love with a guy somewhere, and we need to start living there in that area, for example, or that she will leave us and will start to live separately somewhere else in the world, we don't know and we don't care. We just enjoy every day to the fullest. There's no need for us to think about that future that we don't have control on. We have zero control. Most people always think they have control of the future, but you know, whatever you plan, it is always being disrupted. Uh, even like short-term futures. You know, if you're planning a date, if you're planning like meeting with friends, there's always something that comes up. So why even worry about planning the like, short-term or the long-term future? We will see. Whatever happens in a family, we will adapt to that situation. And that means, yes, maybe we would be in the far future even buying a house again. I don't know. Or maybe it wouldn't be possible anymore to buy houses and there is a completely decentralized world. And yes, we can pay our houses that we stay in daily with our cryptocurrency wallet. We really don't know. But that was the answer of the question. The inspirational part for today, guys, is a very beautiful quote. And it kind of connects to what we were just talking about. But I think it all starts with gratitude. Gratitude makes sense of the past, brings peace for today, and gives you a vision for tomorrow. So it all starts with gratitude. Waking up and being grateful for everything that's happening in your life. So every morning I do the same. I start to express what I'm grateful for. I'm not like shouting it in the neighborhood, but I'm doing it in my head. When I wake up, I'm like, wow, I'm very grateful that I just woke up. I had a beautiful night, I'm still alive. And then I'm very grateful for my breakfast. I'm very grateful for being able to walk on the beach, talk about Bitcoin and life. I'm very grateful for having three beautiful, healthy kids. I'm very grateful to have a beautiful wife that is sleeping next to me every night. I'm less grateful for having this dog that's like barking all the time. But <laughs> you, do what, you know what I mean. I think gratitude should be integrated into everyone's life. Start your day with it. Just practice it a few times a day. A few times a day, think about the stuff that you're grateful for. What makes your life beautiful? What makes you happy? Be grateful that these things are happening to you. So gratitude will make sense of the past, brings peace for today, and gives you vision for tomorrow. That was the quote for today, guys. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video uh, to the fullest, everything that I talked about. If you did enjoy the video, then please give the video, of course, a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, like the comments, booty, booty, Bitcoin, and booty and beach. <laughs> 
something like that. And that was again, yes, and booty at the end of my beautiful video, guys. But uh, if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the travel tip? What do you think about the trading tip? What do you think about everything else that we just talked about? Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Bye.